Nisha sent a LinkedIn connection request to people I met in a virtual career fair and most of them are uh, recruiters, headhunters, I'm assuming you mean. What's the next step after they accept the request? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I would probably uh, have uh, messaged them first and not sent the connection request. I think you did it backwards. So if it's me and I meet, this is exactly what I would do. Any of you, so Nisha, let's say we let's say Annie's got a time machine. We're going back. Okay, we're going back to the past. I'm in a virtual affair with you. You're all headhunters. Okay? We're all done. I got your emails. I got your whatevers. I looked you up on LinkedIn. Hey. Hey, Mrs. Headhunter. I'm Andy. I was in that in that uh, virtual career fair with you. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. I wanted to reach out to you to see if we can get connected on LinkedIn. I recognize you are a recruiter. I'm assuming that you're recruiting for positions. I'm guessing uh, you you could use my network if uh, you know if 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 you if you want to get connected. I'd be happy to share it with you, and I'd also be open to a phone call, and you could let me know what kind of positions you recruit for, and I'd be happy to give you all the names of the people that I know. That's the message. Okay, it isn't. Hey, I need a job. It's what can I do for you? So that's the message that you send. And hey, and, and I'm also happy to share my background if I fit any of your needs. But either way, I'd love to connect. Something like that. You have got to, th- I, I promise you, the universe knows and your luck will change when you focus on helping others first and what's in it for you second. I you don't believe me um the free book that i get this book we lose our shirts on getting rid of this book okay so i I had to buy the book we had to manufacture the book i have to store it in a warehouse i have to pay the service fees i have to pay the envelopes i have to pay all that stuff and we shoot it out into the world okay and we've been doing that since april 2018 all right my royalties on the book for people actually buy the book are 10 times what they used to be before i gave the book away now this book, I pay a lot of money, and some of you could say, well, that's marketing, and it is. But a lot of people don't buy the programs. They just take the book. But I know that there's goodwill that goes out into the world, okay? And it will catch up with me somewhere, right? I'm going to give you a four-day free workshop that's, I don't know, let's call it conservatively 10 hours of time. Give it all away. Thousands of people will see it. But if thousands of you won't jump in the pro- That's okay. I don't even think about that. I think put the gifts out. And those who need me will find me. And a lot of times, because I'm in that motion constantly, then good things happen. Well, the same thing happens for you if you're job searching. If you sent 10 messages a day to people and just said, how can I help you? I mean, you know what I mean? Targetingly or in a, in a targeted fashion, right? With some intent and actually meant it. I'm guessing you'd have all kinds of job offers flying out of your pockets. You would. You would because you're putting yourself in a situation to let serendipity happen to you, right? I I think we released uh, a a video on my Instagram page about, you know, should you filter out third-party recruiters? And my mess, somebody asked me that question, like, how do I filter out and say no? And I was like, you never say no. You get on the phone right away and you talk to them and you give them, give whatever. What can I do for you? What, What positions are you searching for? Let me see who I know. And you give them people and you give them names. That's your gift to them. And and good things will happen to you. But most people think, well, this recruiter contacted me because they need something or this job that they're looking to fill. I don't look anything like that. What are they thinking? That's the wrong mentality. Okay? It's, oh, there's an opportunity to talk to somebody and help them. Now, don't get me wrong. You got to weigh all the time in your life. But if you're in job search mode, every inbound call that comes to you is an opportunity. And I'm not talking about shoving your resume on Indeed and the 50 inquiries you get a day that are coming from automated systems that haven't looked at your resume but you know saw some keyword or have some researcher auto-sending emails. I'm talking about an inbound inquiry from a company or a recruiter or a friend or whoever that would be smart to get connected to. It's about the art of the possible, but it's also about you helping first and having that mentality change your life. It will. I promise you.